Today, we're not just launching our new phone. We're launching a new way of thinking about what a phone can do. A phone that makes you rethink the phone. Introducing Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. We spend more time with our phones than ever, and yet they're not designed to be held comfortably. But now, with the elegant back curve of the S7 and the streamlined front and back of the S7 Edge, both nestle perfectly into the palm of your hand. Well, my name is Ricardo Estrada, and I am here to answer this question. As a 21st century teacher, how will we use technology in teaching? Actually, many technological advances have affected many areas of our life. The way we communicate, collaborate, learn, and of course, teach. Along with that, those advances necessitated our expansion of our vocabulary producing definitions such as digital natives. In order to be able to offer students choices, having one's own hands-on experience and expertise will be useful. Since technology keeps developing, learning a tool once and for all is not an option. So anyone can jump in at any time. Another reason for technology integration is the necessity of today's students to have 21st century skills. It includes personal and social responsibility, planning, critical thinking, reasoning, and creativity, and of course, strong communication skills. I believe that technology and social media in education allow people, especially students, to share ideas, thoughts, and opinion. I think one of the most exciting aspects of technology in education inside the classroom is its use for designing creativity, like creating a content written, audio, video, 2D, or the latest nowadays, the 3D. They can also create music and photo. But then only good, responsible, and well-grounded teacher can leave or can plant an indelible mark among each individual. Once again, integrating technology into teaching as a future 21st century teacher is very important. Once again, my name is Ricardo L. Estrada. Through the problems that are changed on a screen. 
provides communication using TV that encourages students' collaboration and participation and provide access to the current information. which are the result of scientific knowledge being used for practical purposes. The laptop, tablet, software, and apps are the tools of learning in the 21st century. We all know that during the traditional time, teachers uses the old visual materials like chalkboard, paper, ink, pencil, box, and others. But as time goes by, instruction nowadays had become more modern. Well, we already using the PowerPoint presentation in discussion using the laptop and projector because through these materials, it can be motivating students to listen and to focus with the discussion. Technology is very important because it can be an invaluable tool for teachers to engage students to integrate technology in the classroom. We should have classroom management so that it can... It helps teachers analyze student learning so they can adjust instruction quickly to address needs as well as organize homework, assessment, and reading. Technology in the classroom is very important, like for example, using a PowerPoint presentation and allowing students to, to view multimedia presentations and videos that related to the lesson to be presented. Technology has become integrated in the classroom in so many ways that we often don't even think about how well you are using it. The education world technology team offers lessons and activities to help educators make better use of technology tools for instruction and to help students improve the technology tools for instruction and help students improve the technology skills within the context of the regular or curriculum includes. Integration activities, they utilize the web, PowerPoint, Excel, digital photography, smart board, and more and more schools today. Technology is recognized as an instruction skill many educators less familiar and less comfort with technology than their students struggle to seamlessly integrate a growing less of technology tools into the regular curriculum. So once again, I am Dylan Carolino, so thank you. Hello, I'm Elma S. Isabelle from the S7S group. There is a question about the technology and how will you integrate the educational technology in a classroom? Well, we are all aware that today's generation is more on digital use. To be fit in the 21st century classroom, you should have to use the technology in order for you to have an attractive and effective teaching. There are lots of ways to integrate the educational technology. For instance, um, the use of a laptop classroom. This is a good example of integrating technology in class. The class will surely run smoothly. Another example is using mock-ups or models. Through this, you are able to let your students experience learning beyond what it is supposed to be. With the help of our educational technology, the students will experience better and easier way to acquire knowledge. They will no longer hunch over with overstocked backpacks. The information they get from books is now available in the internet using their PC, laptops, netbooks, tablets, and even their smartphones. Here, look at this. Um, alphabet mat. 
it is one of an educational technology too. Through this, my son has the interest to listen when I'm going to teach him. We make games throughout of it. So, the use of educational technology, and, or rather how you integrate it, it depends on you. If you will use technology for a better purpose, then it is for a good. Hello, I'm James Otero from S7 Edge Group. I'm here to answer this. How will we integrate technology in teaching? When technology integration in the classroom is seamless and thoughtful, students not only become more engaged, they begin to take more control over their own learning too. Effective technology integration changes classroom dynamics, encouraging student-centered, project-based learning. An effective school provides effective learning. That is, the school defined as something where there are classes, teachers, running exams, people structured in groups by age, following a curricul curriculum, all of that. But this will happen only in communities of children who have access to computers in a sufficient scale. Ladies and gentlemen, we should always remember that we need to embrace technology to make learning more engaging. Because when students are engaged and they are interested, that's where learning takes place. Thank you and God bless. Thank you for watching and listening. Again, again and again, we are S7 Edge Group. We will leave you this. Technology can become the wings that will allow the educational world to fly farther and faster than ever before if we will allow it. Thank you and God bless all. What do you mean?